All right, so in this lesson, I'm gonna tell you how to use a new feature in Premiere Pro, which is called Productions. That makes it really easy to share assets from one project to another project. It's super seamless. But before I tell you how that works, first I wanna talk about the normal way to share assets between projects, which is by copying and pasting between two projects that are open at the same time. So here I'm gonna double click this project called Banana to open it up. And now I'm gonna double click this different project called Avocado to open it at the same time. So now if I drag a file from the banana project over to the avocado project, then you'll see that now it's showing up in avocado and I can use it however I want here. I could also copy the effects from a clip in the banana project. Let's say I got them all right over here. And then I could paste those effects onto a clip in the avocado project. I could even copy an entire sequence from the Banana Project and paste it over in Avocado, and then you will see that Premiere Pro automatically brings all of the files and all the clips that, that sequence uses over into Avocado so that that sequence will work right. Now, this is not a perfect system though, because you'll notice that when Premiere brought over those other assets, now we've got these bins from the other project that are messing up our bin structure here, and y'all know how I feel about messy projects. The other thing is that if you are copying and pasting a bunch of assets between multiple projects and you have a bunch of projects open all at the same time and they all have a ton of assets in them, it's gonna make your computer mad, it's gonna start running really slow, right? So to avoid these problems, we could use a new feature in Premiere that's called Productions that makes sharing assets way more efficient. Now first let me just say that you don't need to use Productions, you don't need to use this feature if all of your videos, like they don't have anything to do with each other because then you're never gonna have to worry about copying and pasting assets or duplicate bins or your computer running slow because you got all these projects open at once. You just work on one project at a time. But nowadays, like who is just making one isolated video at a time, right? Like we've all got series of videos that we're making. We've got channels, we've got social media accounts and we need a stream of constant content for our audiences, right? And so if you're like I am, then you're probably making videos that are going to reference each other at some point. Or maybe you have a collection of favorite assets like titles or transitions or intro videos that you wanna use across all of your videos so you can keep that branding tight. If that is the case, then let me introduce you to my friend called Productions. Productions is a feature in Premiere that lets you easily share assets between different projects without creating messy duplicate files and without making you have a bunch of big projects open at once on your computer, then you have to wait for everything to load and that just slows your workflow down. This productions feature came out in 2020 and once I started using it, I was like, I am never going back and so let me show you how it works. So let's pretend that the Premiere Pro application is a company and we're drawing out its organizational hierarchy. So at the bottom of our hierarchy, we've got the assets for a video. So the video files, the audio files, etc. Above that, we've got a Premiere Pro project that contains all of those assets, right? But if we go one level above a project, we've got something called a production. And so a production is a collection of Premiere Pro projects that are related. And so this production manages everything beneath it, all the projects and all of the assets inside of those projects. So here I've got a production for this course that's got a bunch of different projects in it. So over here, I've got a favorites project with a bunch of my favorite assets in it that I use again and again. And then down here, I've got a project for every lesson in this course. And I've got those lesson projects organized in folders. And all of these things are living inside this one big production called Essential Video Course. So let me open up a couple projects here and I'm gonna show you how they talk to each other so well. So I'm gonna go over to this favorites project in this production and you'll see I've got stuff like backgrounds, sound effects, transitions, stuff that I use across all of these other lesson projects in this production. And now let's open up one of those other lesson projects in this production. So here is the project for our script writing lesson and then I'll open up the latest sequence inside that project. All right, so now I've got these two projects inside the production open at the same time and so let's move some stuff between them. So let's say we're working in the script writing project on the sequence and we want to find some music for it. So I'm gonna go over to my favorites project, to the music bin, and let's pick the song Coconut and let's drag it from the favorites project over to this sequence in our script writing project. Okay, so ordinarily if I were to add an asset from one project to another and those two projects were not in the same production, then we would see that asset showing up in both projects because it would get pasted over here we would see that coconut song show up in our script writing project. It would need to be in this project for it to work in this sequence over here. But because these two projects live inside the same production and they are friends, 
that coconut song is gonna work over here in our script writing project even though it lives permanently in our favorites project. And just to be sure it didn't get copied over here and we're just missing where it went, you'll see that if we search for coconut in the script writing project, it's nowhere to be found, even though it's being used. Now, get ready for the magic, because even if I go over here and I close this favorites project altogether, then that coconut song is still going to work in our script writing project. So just to recap, a production in Premiere contains Premiere Pro projects that contain project assets. An asset that's used in one project in a production can be used in any other project in that production. It doesn't need to be duplicated in those other projects and it will still work even if the project containing the asset is not open. Now, if you're saying, I don't get it, like why is this so useful? When would I ever use these functions? Well, let's pretend you're going on a five day vacation. Yes, you're allowed to celebrate it because you are going here, which looks really dope and you're definitely gonna wanna film it. And if you don't sink into the ocean, then you're gonna make a vacation vlog about this. And let's say that for each of the five days of your trip, you take 60 minutes of footage, equaling 300 total minutes of video, but your final vlog ain't gonna be more than 20 minutes max, right? Which means there's a good chance that at least half the shots you took, you're probably just gonna look at them once, but they're never gonna make your timeline. And if you were to edit this video without productions in just a single regular Premiere Pro project, then you dump all the footage from every day into it. And even if your timeline was only using half the files in these footage folders, you'd still have to wait for all those unused files to load every time you open the project. But if you're not a fan of waiting, then you could use productions instead. So you could go in Premiere Pro and go to File, New, New Production, then give your production a name, tell Premiere where to save it, and then your production's gonna open and look, Premiere's been really sweet and already created an untitled project for you to rename. And if I were setting up this production, I would rename this project 01 Wednesday because I would wanna create a project for the footage from each day in my vacation, and then I would create a separate project for just my timeline then I'd start my edit like this. So over in the production panel, you can see that the only projects we have open here are Wednesday, our first day, and our timeline project. So here in this panel, I've got my Wednesday project that has all my footage from that day in it. And then in my timeline project, I've just got a sequence for my rough cut. So then I can just start building that rough cut, picking out the best footage from Wednesday. And when I'm done, I'll just close that Wednesday project up. Never need to open it again. My timeline's still gonna work. And I'll repeat this process for the projects containing the footage from every other day. Then maybe I'll go to bed and the next day when I want to do fine cutting, color correction, etc., I just need to have that timeline project open and I don't need to wait for a bunch of footage to load that's not even in my timeline. I can just get straight to work. Okay, now let me show you another way that Productions is cool. So I'm gonna go back over here and let's open back up our favorites project because I always have this project open whenever I'm editing another project in this production. But you will see that I have a lot of favorites here. Like this thing is always growing and let's say it got out of control. It was just taking forever to load because I put too much stuff in it and it was not working when I had another project open. Well, what I could do is I could basically break this favorites project up into tinier projects that are easier to manage, that are faster to load. So let me just do that really fast. I'm gonna take this music bin and this sound effects bin from this big favorites project and I'm gonna put them into a cute little project that's just got my audio favorites. And I want you to notice too what happened there when we moved this bin because ordinarily, if we were moving a bin from one project to another and those projects were not inside the same production, the bin would get duplicated. So we'd see it in both projects. But because these two projects here, they live inside the same happy production, that means the bin is gonna truly get moved from one project to another. It doesn't get duplicated, it gets moved. Because again, the idea with productions is that you only have to import an asset one time and you never have to deal with duplicates. Anyway, let's fast forward because now I have broken up this big old favorites project into a bunch of smaller projects. And now if I'm just working on audio in a project, then I only need to have this audio favorites project open. I don't need to wait for all of my other favorite assets to load in these other projects. And so that just makes things way faster and more efficient for me. Now, if you've got some existing projects that you want to migrate into a production, you can do that, but you can't just drag and drop those projects into Premiere. The way you want to do this is you wanna right click in the production panel and select add project to production, and that's going to make sure that things work right. Also, if you look at the spot on your device where you told Premiere to save your production, so here's my production and it's this dot prod set file. So that's like the project file, but for your production, 
If you look in that spot on your device, you're gonna see that Premiere has also saved project files for all of the projects that you created inside your production. And it's done that using a folder structure that's gonna be the same on your device as the way you set up the folders inside Premiere Pro. So they're, they're gonna mirror each other. And I'm showing you this because it's really important that you don't move or rename any of those files on your computer when you're in Finder or Explorer that's gonna make productions mad. You wanna do all of your moving and renaming and organizing of your projects inside Premiere Pro when you're using productions. If you're interested in using this new feature in Premiere, I have a user guide link down below in the resources that I would also recommend checking out. By the way, I'll also be coming out with a video soon about how you can use productions with your team along with other ways to collaborate in Premiere Pro. So if you wanna know when that comes out, then subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like and a comment below. That would, I mean, you have no idea how much that would mean to me. If you have any other tips for how to share assets quickly and efficiently in Premiere, let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.